Here's the elephant that is living in the most gracious stage of her life. She's going to give birth. But it's tougher for any animal to stay calm since there are carnivores that would not let this happen. Group of lions sat at the piece trying to spot a prey. They spot this elephant mom carefully taking a walk across the jungle. Now they plan to hunt her. Oh yeah! She's peacefully drinking water at this pond while they sneakily get behind her to attack. A lion jumped, but the elephant's instinct warned her. She ran away from the other two, but the third lion successfully managed to attack her. She went flying in the air and fell across the trees. They tried harming her while she bravely fought. She dodged all the attacks and ran as fast as she could. But she tripped and fell off a stone and the ground dragged her into a mud swamp. The mommy elephant did not lose hopes and finally dragged herself out of the swamp. Hoping the problem ends here. But there is another set of troublesome animals that spots her. The foxy and the wolves. The elephant kept walking. Little does she know there's going to be another attack. Foxy and the gang couldn't wait anymore and began chasing her assuming they might successfully kill her. As Foxy what? jumped for an attack, the mother elephant involuntarily yeeted her with her trunk. She then ran against all the trees while escaping Foxy and the wolf. Gruesome times for a pregnant mother. Everything isn't alright until she reaches a bridge and an idea pops up. The Foxy and the gang reached there to harm her. While the mommy elephant cleverly broke a part of the bridge making them fall into the river. What? The elephant is now hoping she will be fine here. But then comes the third trouble. There is a gang of tigers who spotted her taking a walk and now they want to harm her. Oh, yeah. The three tigers sneakily walked from the three sides, and now they attacked. What? But the universe always helps the brave. Hippo and his gang are here to rescue the helpless elephant. The mommy elephant courageously woke up in the light of having her child. She felt very thankful for the rescue and greeted the animals. On a very clear windy day at three swings back and forth, while the cows walk towards the tree slowly and on reaching upon the tree they start to eat. Leaves off the tree from either side right then calf walks and standing right in the middle. Now the calf turns towards the tree staring at the tree and the two cows intensely. The calf jumps heavily hoping to reach the tree's leaves for it to feed on. The cows look at the calf while pausing their feast on the leaves. I want to eat those leaves too! The cow shakes his head in disapproval for this sad and shakes his head in disappointment. The cows go back to eating the leaves on the tree. And our little cough has not decided to give up and jumps again and attempt to get some leaves. But this attempt goes in vain too. So the calf taps onto the other cows to speak with them and request for help. Please, I'm starving. The cows look at each other and not to themselves. 
The cow plucks out one leaf and goes to the little calf when the cows try to take the leaf from the cow's mouth. The cow pulled back the cow pulls back every time the calf tried to take the leaf from its mouth. Finally the cow eat to leaf without giving it to the poor calf and walks away. But the evil cows started to laugh among themselves. A really strong wind out of the sudden blows, moving the couch. And the tree itself with the wind fell down a leaf on the ground. And the calf goes towards it. But one of the cows goes behind it and blows the leaf away. What? The cow eats the leaf and walks away. Little calf is very upset that I couldn't even eat one leaf. Back to the tree. Another strong gust of wind blows. Making it difficult for the calf to even walk. As the wind shifts the cop's direction, it finds a leaf's talk to the stem of the tree where the calf has the easy access to eat it. But again the other cow pops up quickly and eats the leaf and walks away. Leaving the calf in disappointment yet again. Another huge blow of wind springs blowing the two cows out of the places as they deserve. The wind bends the tree too much that it gets to the level of the calf. The clad moves towards the tree slowly and starts to eat all of the leaves that it possibly can. A happy ending. The cow is very fond of strawberries or maybe just mixing it. The owner came back home and found a bill. None other than the electricity bill. He got in only to find his beloved calf oh, no! increasing his expenses by mixing the strawberries since ages. He quickly turned the main off. But survival what? without electricity is quite tough. Just then his attention goes towards the frame on his bed. Now he knows the plan. The owner is now going to build a windmill. The owner building everything from scratch. He is focused on mechanics and physics. Finally, after a long hustle, the windmill is ready. Oh yeah! He switched on the main so that his only calf baby could grind the strawberries. Meanwhile, the farm animals do not really seem to be fond of the creeks and noises from the windmill. The rabbit must be having an idea. He began pouring grease to fix it and it definitely did fix. But the rabbit slipped on its what? feet. Before it fell and broke its bone, she held one of the windmill's arms and began rotating. He felt joy by the rotation. The pig went forward to experience this, and he understood the rabbit. The sheep was eager and joined them too. While the owner was enjoying his free electricity, the animals formed a line and were waiting for their chances to take the windmill. The owner had no clue of what's happening outside. The pig took his chance too and finally the bison will take the windmill. But soon oh, the no. animal's faces fell. The windmill was too slow until it finally stopped while the bison was held at the peak. What? The owner's surroundings began to shrill. A high voltage of energy began to pass into the house as the windmill began rotating very rapidly.
All the animals vanished or probably fled away due to the wind. Before a black hole could be summoned the owner got out to stop the event. He was certainly successful in preventing a disaster. Woke up, Mr. Gorilla. What? Huh? Not again. This fox, I'll drive him away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll sit here and protect my cattle. <laughs> the fox hid behind the tree and waited for a moment to slip in, but had no luck. He then came up with an idea and went back to his cave, crafted out a dress. I'll dress up like these sheep and stroll into the herd. I am one among you. Don't scream, y'all. Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> While blending into the herd, the fox slowly led one to the slaughter and filled its belly. Come on, sheep! Let's go out there! Stroll around for a while! The fox was eagerly waiting for another opportunity. Blink of a moment, she ate up another sheep. Mr. Gorilla had no clue of what was going on. Time to get back. Come on, all.
yeah, 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 yeah. you are, you cheat. Never come back again and deceit. Oh no! Ouch! Thank you, Mr. Gorilla. <laughs> The sun has risen. The golden rays of the sun give a bright color to the clouds and meadows, mountains and valleys, on the jungle land. Good morning, my beautiful friends. Looks like all my cattle are busy in their own world. Let's see what this day has in store for us. We are hungry, Mr. Gorilla. Please give us something to eat. Hold on. I'll bring some fresh hay for you all. All right, here you go. Come on, all, gather up. Eat. <coughs> What's wrong, Piggy? What do you need? Are you hungry too? Oh yes, we are hungry. But fed up with eating hay. Can we get some vegetables to eat? Hmm. Let me see what I can do about it. Idea. I'll plow the garden area and grow some potatoes. Firstly, let's till the ground. And now, let's sow some potato seeds. And lastly, water it. And now, let's give it some time for the mother earth to do its magic. The sun to shine on it. I'll check on it in the next day. Huh. Wow, look at the crop. Sprouted up beautifully. Let's give some to the pigs, to the sheep, and also to my cows. <laughs> All are enjoying. What? Now what? Hey, piggies! What's going on here? Stop it, you all! We are still hungry. Potatoes were delicious. We want more of it. Huh? More? <laughs> for us too. Even for us, we want more of it. Potatoes were delicious. I can go to Mr. Bear and get a bag of potatoes. All right. Mr. Bear, please give me a bag of fresh potatoes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mr. Gorilla, I'm back. Here, take this. Okay. I'll go and grow some more now. But this time, I'll put some extra light and some music to my crop to grow well and soon. Everything looks perfect. Now, let's wait. The next day. Wow! 
Jane Potatoes. Woohoo! enormous jungle land and there lives a king for every jungle this jungle has a dutiful lion too except for he is a blind guy but he never gave up as long as he could function he always tried to hunt by hearing noises was trying to get the rabbit but he was unsuccessful so he returned back to the den a snake was observing him for so long snakes love to gossip so here he is there's a den nearby a lion lives there a blind one. <laughs> then come on, we gotta bully him and entertain ourselves. The foxy, wolf and snake are approaching the lion. While his ears already sensed footsteps approaching and he got alert. Hello, lion. Hello? Are you a snake? Yeah, he is. But would you like to join us for a game? The lion agrees and the game is ready in a few moments. Too many hurdles for the lion and upcoming backstabs were set. The game begins and the lion is competing with the snake. Little did the game start. The what? lion got tripped by a log of wood and hurted his ribs. He still didn't give up. Let me lead you, sir. The lion took jumps whenever the bird told him to. He even ran upon the snake and with utmost dedication he won the match. Let's play another game. Let's play hide and seek. You count. He's done counting and carefully focused on any sound that might interrupt and he could catch. He ran into a tree. He felt a presence in the tree, so he kicked the tree and both the tree and snake what? had fallen. He hears noises from the bushes, so he moves forward. The foxy tried to be calm, but he accidentally stepped on a stick. Oh no! Anyways, I bet you couldn't even roar properly. All the three roared, but no one is disturbed by that. But when it came to the lion... All 
All the animals hailed for him. The snake and his gang felt distressed, so they ran from there. The powerful blind king will not rule the jungle. Here is an advertising board. The worker is just wondering how to paint this. He's gonna get to work now. Meanwhile, here's the cattle. The cows were peacefully involved in grazing and resting. Except for one cow. This cow just had a gut feeling that something was wrong. She immediately began running and got to the board. While the man was finished painting, it was fine until it was advertising a burger. But it contains 100% grounded what? beef at the farm. Oh no! This means they will kill all of us! The siren ran and all the cows immediately ran inside. Hey! Why the hell is there a siren? Listen to me carefully. We are facing a life threat. I saw a billboard of a beef burger. It said 100% ground beef. No one will save us. We gotta protect ourselves. The cows will not rally but will wipe the paint off. The cows took the ropeway and got there. Oh no! Let's hide this thing quickly. There goes the cement. They filled it with cement and wrote eat more chicken. Later, the man returned. What? He was shocked. He began wiping it all out. After the hustle, it was all removed. Oh, yeah. But the cow did not stop spying. What? Seems like this human will never stop killing us. He erased all the cement from the board. Let's not give up. Let's keep hiding the board. The cows have come again. They threw the cement all over again and wrote the same quote begging to leave them alone. The man was fed up too. What? But he's not giving up. He cleaned it again. He was longing to go on a holiday. The cows were already spying from the bushes. Oh, yeah. As soon as the man got down, they hit his head and he fainted. Hey guys, look at this picture. In the picture, the man was relaxing at the beach and there was a lighthouse nearby. He got out of his sleep realizing that it was a weird dream.